This is our feature race then, race number seven. It's the Chinese Club Challenge Cup. Group three, 1,400 metres uh, is the trip. Eight of them go to post, headed by Seasons Bloom. Handicap conditions as well, top weight. Reunited with Zach Purton, who's two from three on the horse. Ninth in the sprint International Day. Kai Ying Star was ninth in the mile behind Admire Mars. Northern Superstar off the track since February. First up here, encouraging. Uh, course and distance winner, two starts. Back Champions Way gets the pacifier and the tongue tie on. Good standing up in class. Last behind Fast Most Furious, last time out. Fat Turtle up in class, up in trip as well, and Golden 60, unbeaten, three out of three uh, this season, and uh, he's only been beaten once in his life in seven starts, he's heading towards the four-year-old series. Seasons Bloom, encouraging and good standing of the horses that have been up at Chung Fa within the last 30 days. Now, we made our way across the touchscreen to have a look at the speed map and some of the key races um, here, and as far as the speed is concerned, so I think, assume it's sort of maps itself to a certain extent. Kai Ying Star has been getting out and rolling on with his horses like Beauty Generation, so he's going to do the same again here. I think it's fairly stock standard what uh, we've got on the screen here is probably what will end up happening. The only question maybe with encouraging, because he has been going forward, whether they want to try and uh, take him on and have a bit of a, a crack at uh, Kai Ying Star in the early stages with the blinkers on first time as well, so maybe they sit a little bit closer together, maybe they sit together like that outside each other. Not sure, but I think Kai Ying Star with the blingers on, that certainly signals the intention that uh, he'll be right up at the uh, head of affairs. All right, and everybody else gets the spot and assume that they want. Paul, what have you seen in track work? Well, we'll have a look at Champions Way because he's had a couple of runs now this season and if he wants to get his derby aspirations back on track, he's a good opportunity to do it. You can see he's under real double wraps too as he comes down the source, so he uh, he's definitely uh, improved since his last start. And so he looks good. Fat Turtle, what a strong win it was from him last time. Comes in well at the weights, is, and uh, he's another one that's going really nicely. A uh, bit thanks for ever last, uh, his last start, the last couple of starts, actually. So nice. And now I just thought I'd show the, the likely favourite for the race, which is a Golden 60. Uh, he goes really well. That's him closest to us, and the race conditions really suit this horse with the light weight as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he only gets 114 pounds plus whatever overweight Vincent Ho does. Let's start off, though, with another horse on the four-year-old trail, and that's Champions uh, Way with trainer John Sykes. Well, his, his runs didn't look impressive, but um, in saying that, he's on a figure of 108 and he's been running in Class 1 races, so I suppose um, that might be his mark uh, at, at the present time. So now he's uh, had another uh, short break between runs and um, he'll run in, in this race tomorrow, the small field, and uh, we'll get a, a, an idea if he feels uh, any better or he's going to go higher than that figure. So um, then he goes into the mile race for the four-year-olds. Were you happy with his barrier trial the other day? I noticed you've made a couple of gear changes this time around as well. He's been, he's been laying away from the winning post in the straight uh, in, in most of his races, actually. And, uh, you know, we try and uh, improve that if we can. While he was winning, I, we just uh, let him do what he was doing. But um, now we try and make some sort of improvement. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll have any effect, but uh, we'll try anyway. Happy with his work uh, during the week leading into this and his gallop last Saturday morning? Well, his, his health and his soundness has, has always been good. It's never been an issue, obviously, we, otherwise he wouldn't have the record that he has. And um, But it just that uh, I think that maybe the competition of uh, the higher rating races, uh, he's got to do everything perfectly to win as you go up in grade and uh, we'll try to uh, improve on that situation. And if he does, well, uh, we'll be happy about that. Climbed the ratings uh, very highly in his, his three-year-old season. Um, he's carried a couple of big weights this time round, lighter weight. Would you be disappointed if he didn't um, produce something this time round? Well, I'd, I think he'd run well, you know. All we're looking for is to him to run a good race. And then when he gets into his in the racing against the four-year-olds, well, then he'll be, he should be competitive. Yeah, it's a high mark, isn't it? 108, but uh, the four-year-old classic series is where Champions Way future lies. Let's have a look at um, some of the competition then um, against him, and we'll start off here with well, the Group One form. Um, seasons blue. Now this isn't the Group One race; it's the Premier Bowl. We're looking back to um, here, but this was a, a super effort getting up in the final stride. Yeah, it was a really good uh, run from him, and he's he hit the line really strongly. Uh, 
He's sort of, um, he's come into the international race. Obviously, this is going to be a lot easier back to Group 3 company. But I don't know if the conditions of the race really suit him. He has to carry 133. He went back from that wide stall last time out of gate number 12 in the, the sprint behind to beat the clock. But he was only in the end three and a quarter lengths away. He was finishing off and he really dropped on them quickly on this yeah. occasion to win. He was quite impressive. Yeah, 21 14, that uh, final split there for, uh, for Seasons Bloom. Uh, another Group 1 horse who's certainly been running in Group 1 races anyway is Kai Ying Star. We're going back though to um, the Celebration Cup that's uh, familiar head of Beauty Generation who's just upsides in there so you know this is obviously top class form. Certainly is, um, he was good on this occasion then since then he's uh, run fourth behind Rise High, second behind Waikuku and then in the international mile behind Admire Mars where he was beaten four and a quarter and again he led on that occasion weakened over sort of the last 150 metres. Interesting they are changing the gear with him, the, the cheek piece is coming off, the blink is going on first time. It does make me wonder how much sort of a, a nuisance factor potentially encouraging will be up on the pace. Yeah, that, that's the question, I think, for him. But he's, he's got that uh, really good uh, speed, hasn't Kaying Star? I think a mole's his best, but he can still run a good 1,400. OK, golden 60 then. Um, this year's, I suppose, favourite at this stage for the, uh, the classic mile, if we're looking ahead, unbeaten in three starts um, so far and gets in with that light weight on his back. That's the key, I think. This this race, really, the conditions really suit him. All these other horses have to give him so much weight. And he's a really progressive horse. He's unbeaten the season, as you mentioned. The, the three wins have been all been really, really strong. So uh, I think he'll do it again. I think he will as well. Uh, just this last 200 metres, this is where he really digs in. He's just got such a, a potent turn of foot here over the final stages to uh, to reel off. And uh, he, again, he was just ultra impressive there. Since then, he's had a, a quiet barrier trial. Speaking to Vincent Ho off camera at the trials, after that, he was pretty happy with what he was able to do, just a quiet bit of maintenance work. Yeah, I'm with him, but this is class two into group no, three now, taking yeah. on some uh, some proper um, horses in the in the process. Fat Turtle, um, well, he's he's mixed it, and the form looks um, very good with the likes of um, Thanks Forever. Be a thero as well, going back a, a couple of starts, but this is him over the 1200, this is 1400. Yeah, stepping up uh, here to the course and distance for the first time, I thought he was given a, a super ride on this occasion by uh, Joe Marrero when winning uh, there on International Day over Thanks Forever at uh, 5.5 in the market. The, the gap opened at the right time and uh, he shot on through and beat some quality horses, a couple of them that uh, are lining up uh, uh, in the the sprint race, like the likes of Water Diviner there. Uh, his turn of foot again at the finish was very good and I think that would suggest that 1400 metres, no Concerns. No, exactly. And I think he can get a similar run. I know he's drawn seven, but the way the map works, I think he can just get in behind the pace. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll give him a chance, Fat Turtle. All right, under the handicap conditions, mm. though, who's, his, who's got the best chance for? Well, I'm going to go with the bottom two. I think the handicap's the key here. So I'm going to go with uh, Golden 60 to beat Fat Turtle 8 to beat the seven. Champions Way will give them the chance as well. Uh, another one who comes in reasonably well with the weights. The tongue tie goes on with the pacifiers. And from the front, K Ying Star. Blinkers on, cheek pieces off. As I say, he'll keep going because I think he's a good mile of this horse. But 1,400 metres of blinkers on, he's in there as well. 8752. Yeah, on top for me as well as uh, Golden 60, providing Vincent Ho can get down to the, the riding weight to here of 114. He's 19 pounds off the, the top weight season's bloom. So Golden 60 on top, Champions Way to bounce back. Few uh, gear uh, adjustments there, so they've been tinkering with that. Uh, Ka Ying Star goes in, and Fat Turtle number 7, 8, 5, 2, and 7. Golden 60 for me as well. Fascinating race, including the return of Northern Superstar as well, fresh up since February. He was mixing with some of the very best last season as well. That is the Chinese Club Challenge Cup, race number seven, group three. We're back with a class three next up. That's over the 1,200 metres.